Kyrie Irving is known for having one of the best handles in the NBA. His control over the basketball is insane when he dribbles, which has led him to pull off some of the craziest moves we have seen. But it is not just his ability to control the ball, which makes his handle so great. His ability to shift defenders is largely due to his elite ability to change pace. When looking at Kyrie's change of pace, one of the first things we need to look at is his initial acceleration. He has a very quick first step which allows him to go from a standstill to ripping through to blow by his defender. It is this first step which allows him to accelerate very fast as he can drop his hips and lower his shoulder as he rips the ball with his first step to get past the defender. Watch on this play, the second he gets the ball, he instantly rips to the left and when we look close we can see that he has his shoulders leaning forward to get by his defender and get into the paint. And then on this play, the defender is playing close up on him, and despite the defender closely guarding him, his first step is so quick that he can explode right by him to get into the paint and shoot the floater. And this quick acceleration can be seen while he is dribbling the ball as well. He can be dribbling up top and use this same quick acceleration to go from a standstill to a quick burst of speed and blowing by the defender. He uses the same techniques that he used when ripping through as well as he drops low by lowering his hips and shoulders as he attacks which helps him get by the defense. Watch here he rises up after using a crossover, briefly pauses while dribbling and then decides to re-attack downhill and gets to the basket. While he can change from slow to fast to accelerate, Kyrie is also elite at decelerating and stopping on a dime. As stated before, Kyrie is great at quickly accelerating to get downhill. He uses this to his advantage. Because of this, the defense is oftentimes out of position and trying to recover to stop Kyrie. Kyrie has an elite ability to stop on a dime no matter how fast he is moving, and this will quickly shift his defender and create space to get a shot off. He will use snatchbacks, quick stop pound dribbles to quickly stop while attacking. Watch on this play, he is dribbling up top and then quickly attacks downhill. As he is attacking, the defender turns his hips to try and recover. When Kyrie notices this, he uses one quick pound dribble to stop on a dime and then rises up for the shot. What makes him so great at this deceleration is once again his technique. When decelerating, he will drop his hips and will lean his shoulders forward to exaggerate the quick stop with the pullback. Dropping this low to the ground makes it easier to decelerate as he can allow his momentum to come to a smooth stop by dropping his center of gravity and extending his legs forward. While this is a good technique to decelerate, it also throws off the defense. When he is decelerating and drops in these positions, it can appear that he is moving forward while doing so. The defender will oftentimes continue to move forward while Kyrie comes to a stop, which then creates more space for Kyrie. Watch on this play, as Kyrie catches it, he quickly rips to attack downhill. When the defender turns his hips, Kyrie plants his front foot and leans forward as he pulls back. This causes the defender to continue sliding forward, which gives Kyrie just enough time to get his shot off. Then on this play, Kyrie uses the same nice change of pace to go from fast, slows down briefly, and then re-attacks downhill. The defender's momentum is carrying him forward, and Kyrie drops low, leans forward, and extends his leg to come to a stop. This throws off the defender as he can't stop in time, and Kyrie gets a shot off. And he is great at mixing up his change of speeds. He can go from attacking downhill to stopping and then re-attacking to throw off the defense. His ability to mix up his change of pace makes him unpredictable, which is very difficult to guard when you are the defender. He will often incorporate a lot of hesitation moves when doing this, which helps mix up the change of pace even more. Hanging in the air with a hezi for even just a split second can freeze the defender, which then gives Kyrie a chance to shoot or attack downhill. He will use these in a variety of situations to throw off the defense and create shots off the dribble. Watch on this play, Kyrie pushes the ball down the court, he slows down on the perimeter and uses a hezi and then quickly attacks downhill again to get to the paint for a layup. Then on this play, Kyrie appears to be coming off a screen, but he hangs in the air with a floating hezi and then drops to make a quick crossover and rejects the screen to get downhill. And Kyrie is always capable of plays like this where he changes up his pace multiple times. First he push crosses the ball over and then he snatches back and then re-attacks downhill. He gets downhill, stops on a dime with another snatch back and then hangs in the air and re-attacks with another fast crossover flowing into a shot. Kyrie Irving is one of the best ball handlers in the NBA for a reason. He has crazy handles and it's his change of pace that makes him so difficult to guard. 
His change of pace allows him to use his handles to the best of his ability. We already know he has great control over the basketball, and mixing that with the change of pace makes it even more difficult to stay in front of him. When you think of who has the best handles in the NBA, Kyrie and plenty of other names probably come to mind. But there is one player who has an elite handle, but almost never gets talked about. So if you would like to see why CJ McCollum has the most underrated handle in the NBA, click on this video right here.